when the other side is misleading you in a deal, sometimes you got to take a hard stand. I'm learning to thrive in the economy. Would you like to learn too? As you know, I told you we had an offer on a house. And I was very happy with this house because uh, both my wife and I like hardwood floors. And it was advertised in the MLS and on Zillow as having hardwood floors. And it's the power of suggestion. You know, it says in the ad it's hardwood floor. You look at the floor, it's wood. You think it's a hardwood floor. Spectre came back and said, that's not a hardwood floor, you know. Uh, there's some damage along one door. Some planks are going to have to be uh, restored, but that's that's engineered hardwood. That's just a, a thin layer of hardwood on plywood. It's a plywood floor, basically. And I, I called my real estate agent and I said, uh, we're not happy with this. I mean, first of all, we're not happy that it has to be repaired, obviously. But uh, they, they advertise it as a hardwood floor. It's not a hardwood floor. So our, our real estate agent called them and said, you know, that uh, we would be sending over the inspection report about the damage and that we wanted it uh, restored. And he sort of mentioned to them that I was not happy at the fact that it is uh, not, it is an engineered floor instead of hardwood floor, engineered hardwood floor instead of regular hardwood floor. And they came back and they said, well, you know, Engineered hardwood is a type of hardwood, which is just not true. No, it's not. A hardwood floor and an engineered hardwood floor are very different products. As I mentioned to you, engineered hardwood is a thin layer of hardwood on top of plywood or some other type of cheap wood. And depending on the type of hardwood that you put on top of the plywood, the engineered hardwood floor can last 20 years, could last 40 years, could last longer. But the fact is, it's not going to last like a hardwood floor. It just doesn't. I mean, it's not meant to be. It's of cheaper quality. It is meant to, to be replaced at some point. And there's a limit to how many refinishings you can do with that type of floor before it has to be replaced. So it may normally last 40 years, but if you're the type of person that has a lot of scuff marks on your floor and you need to refinish it regularly, you could have it have to be done regularly. And presumably this house being 10 years old, that meant that that uh, engineered hardwood floor may be halfway through its life. So in 10 years, I might have to replace that floor. Whereas if it was a real hardwood floor, I wouldn't have to worry about that. And I thought, you know, this is so misleading that this other real estate agent is telling us engineered hardwood is a type of hardwood. And it, it really annoyed me because as a real estate agent myself, I felt that's misleading. But as an editor, it really annoyed me because if this guy knows that it's engineered hardwood and he's listing it as hardwood, he's trying to put something over on people. So I said to our real estate agent, I said, not only does he have to pay for the repairs, I now want a discount on the price because we thought we were buying hardwood floor. And our real estate agent said, oh, that's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough sell. I don't know that they're going to go for that. I said, fine, I'm willing to walk away. I feel they're misleading us. I'm willing to walk away. And he said, well, he said, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll send over what you're saying. Um, but you're asking for a kind of a steep discount. Are you sure that's, what, what are you actually willing to accept? And you see, this is where you got to be smart in negotiations. Because that real estate agent on my side only gets paid if there's a deal. So I don't want to give him the idea that I'm not serious about the discount. So what I told my real estate agent is, I'm not going to negotiate with myself. This is the discount I want you to tell them. See what they come back with. But I'm not negotiating with myself. This is the discount I want. He was like, oh, I don't know. And then just to kind of make it real serious for our real estate agent to realize I'm being serious here. I'm not happy about the fact that they misled us about the floors. I said, and I am now putting together a list of new houses that I want to go look at this weekend. So you got to tell them I want a response by Saturday so that Sunday we can start looking at new houses. 
And he said, well, I, don't, I don't know they're going to get back to us by Saturday. I, I don't know. I said, well, then we're going to go look at houses anyway. Because I'm not going to put up with them misleading us. I felt misled. They put in the Zillow listing. They put in the multiple listing service listing that it's a hardwood floor. And it's not. And that's misleading. I'm very angry about it. And the real estate agent said, okay, all right, all right, I'll, I'll tell them what you said. I'll tell them what you said. So I'm still waiting to hear back. But, you know, um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that old saying about how uh, the side that cares less wins the negotiation. Because the fact is, we like the house. We don't love the house. I mean, the house is fine. It's a perfectly fine house. We'd be very happy living there. But it's not like either one of us walked in the house and said, Oh, we love this. This is our home. We've got to be here. And so, you know, if we have to walk away, we'll walk away. Because I, I just really don't like dealing with misleading people. I don't know. Do you think I was t being too harsh? Do you think I'm taking too hard of a stand? Um, should I have handled things differently? I, I don't know. Put, put your comments down below and please like and share. I'd be curious to see what you think I should have done finding out that the hardwood floor is not a hardwood floor. Till next week. Take care.